Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And it's Deb C, and place to be. It's Deb C. Bloop, bloop, that's me. Boop, Deb C. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope everybody is having a great day. And happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, whether it be, whether you be um, a single mother, um, a not single mother, a, a mother of um, an expectant mom, um, any kind of mom, a dog mom. Um, any kind of mom, if you're a mother of any sort, or if you are um, a man, a husband, or a father, acting as a mother and a father, happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day to all the grandmothers, to everybody. So happy Mother's Day. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, you did not meet, see me for the last two days because I took a couple days off. Um, yesterday, I just was doing a lot. It was kind of productive, amazing. Um, uh, so I didn't make a video, so I thought I would just get on today, do a little bit of a reset, um, get with the intentions, just give like a, you know, review of what happened, what's going on, what's going to happen. And today I'm actually doing a coffee talk because this is iced coffee and look at this. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Just keep telling yourself that. This was actually a gift a Christmas gift a couple Christmases ago from my niece-in-law, um, Alyssa. So last week I had two days off. Um, I had Monday off, I had Thursday off. Monday I took off because we had gotten our um, living room floor done. We had, we used to have blue carpeting in there and we gotten, we had gotten it ripped up and revealed beautiful hardwood floors. We have hardwood floors all throughout our house. The only rooms that did not originally have hardwood is in the kitchen and is in the dining room behind me. So we decided to get the carpeting pulled up and they had said they would be here three days or four days. They were only here three days. I think that's because I think they tell people that it's going to be four days because they don't know what the wood's going to look like. But luckily our wood was perfect. Um, so they really didn't have to do too much and they didn't have to stain it a lot because we just got it. We cut, we got it kind of natural to match um, the baseboards. So that was for three days. Took Jack down to the, to um, it's called Walker's Pet Hotel. And it's like doggy, it's like doggy daycare kind of. They go there and they walk them, but then they run around and they play. And it's a very nice too, because they also have a groomer there. But if anything happens, they also have a vet. Um, and you don't have to necessarily go in just for doggy daycare. You, they also, you could also take your, your pet in there to, um, to just for a vet, for a vet check. But I like that if something goes wrong, they have a vet on the premises. Um, in, in case something were to go wrong. And we picked him up and he was so happy to see us. And he got a glowing report once again. They said he was Jack. They said that he was a social butterfly. He played with all the dogs and he played with Olivia. So Jack and Olivia are friends now. So it was nice. Um, so you took him down there. I decided to take, I decided on Tuesday to take Thursday off because I thought maybe I would have to take him down there. But they said on Wednesday night, we're done. We don't have to come for, for four days. And Dolly had said, well, are you going to give the day back? And I was like, no, I'm absolutely not going to give the day back, which was perfect because it was Vanderpump rules on Friday, on Thursday, on Wednesday. And I got to stay up late and watch, rewatch it. So I was excited. So yesterday I did my normal. I went up to Walmart, but I also was pretty productive yesterday. Now, let me just tell you, I've come to the realization and I came to this realization many times before, but I don't ever really seem to stick with what I say I need to do. Um, it's gotten to a point where I, I have got to do something about all this weight that I'm carrying around. Now, I had thrown around in my head that I was going to put out my exact number for my weight. Um, I'm not going to do that. 
I thought I was feeling brave and I'm just not. Um, but I have got to do something to, to drop some weight. And I mean, at, at this point at 55, it's not even right now about like vanity of wanting to look better. It's just, it's just health. I have to do something. Um, I, I told Dolly, listen, no more making, making, you know, sweets and big giant meals. She loves to make big, big, big meals full of like all kinds of potatoes and stuff. I look like a potato. So I decided I'm going to just start eating more fruits and vegetables, a little bit more pro some more protein, drink more water, and I'm going to cut down on the sweets. And oh, that's just, I have to start doing it. So yesterday I bought a ton of fruits and vegetables. I got home and I actually cut all of them up. I made a fruit salad with a little bit of, I saw this on TikTok. You just get some honey and you get some lemon, some fresh lemon, put it in there, mix it up. And I poured it all over my fruit and it tastes really good. So I did that. Um, the only thing that I kind of freaked out, I got like the romaine hearts and I was gonna like chop it up and make a nice salad. But then in one of the, one of the romaine hearts, I found a dead bug. Like, so forget it. I freaked out. I cut, and that was on the first heart. So I cut all them up, put them in the trash disposal, in the, in the, um, trash compactor, not the trash compactor, the garbage disposal. And that was it. I was done with it. Luckily, I had bought a bag of, um, baby spinach that I was able to use. So I, I, so now I always have like a salad there that I can just take from. I got some grilled chicken, cooked it up so I can always have like a salad and some chicken. I'm going to make a nice healthy, um, I'm going to find a recipe on TikTok for a nice healthy salad dressing that I can have. So that's what we're going to do. I have to try and do something because this is not like, it's definitely not gonna get better. I have to try to, to do better. Iced coffee. Um, today is the very last day that I'm gonna be eating like sweets and whatnot. I mean, sure I will have them, but I'm not gonna have them like I have them now. So I got all of that taken care of yesterday. Um, and then last night, me and my mom, I realized that this movie was on Netflix and I thought I'd like to have a movie night for me and my mom. So we watched the movie, um, the, oh, what's it called? The man, a man called Otto, a man called Otto with Tom Hanks. I love Tom. I love Mr. Tom Hanks. He is my favorite actor and my mom loves Tom Hanks. So we watched that. Oh, quite a few people had told me they loved it. And I have to say, I cried. I just loved that movie. Um, I will tell you though, if you watch it, they do have a they do have a, a warning up front that it does contain um, scenes, multiple scenes of um, attempted unaliving yourself. Um, Tom Hanks's character tries it a uh, several times, but. I absolutely, I loved, I loved the whole movie. If you get a chance to watch it, and if, if that other, if that part that I told you about isn't going to trigger you, watch it. I loved it. I thought it was such a great movie. Um, and then today for Mother's Day, um, I, we got, um, we got dinner at an Italian restaurant, Jeanette called Perschetti's. My mom had zucchini, parmesan, zucchini parmesan with a side of gnocchis, and I got, um, what was it? Shrimp and shrimp and scallop scampi. I got big giant baked potato. We got wedding soup, but real nice salads. It was so good. And then we're having my brother and his family out for um, cake from Giant Eagle and some ice cream. So that was real nice. I got my mom, me and Jack, other than we got her a rosary. Um, that I couldn't wait to give her it was from Italy and we got it and, and I gave it to her early, but I also 
got her 12 scratch off tickets. I'm not a fan of scratch off tickets because if you don't win, then it's just paper and a mess that you have. I got her 12 of them. I put them in a little wicker basket. And I put some foam, like some foam blocks down. And then I taped each one of the tickets to um, a wooden dowel and I stuck them in and she won, are you ready? She won $444. I was like, oh my God, she won $444. So good, good for my mom. Um, what else? So that was it for this weekend. Listen, this week there was some reality TV news. A couple that really surprised me. Um, Kim Zolciak from Real Housewives of Atlanta and her husband, um, Troy Beerman, they filed for divorce. I believe they both separately filed for divorce. So there's talk like, did they divorce just to avoid like money issues or did they really divorce? So I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more and let you guys know. Also, this was really, oh, I was shocked by this. I was really shocked by this, but the it couple from last season's Bachelor in Paradise, the one that we all were like, listen, I can already see them celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. They broke up. That's Serena and Brandon. I could not believe that they had broke up. That really, 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 that shocked that really shocked me and also as far as Vanderpump Rules goes Vander, Vanderpump Rules reunion trailer dropped and it looks am amazing James Kennedy is proving to be the number one man the number one guy in the Vanderpump Rules universe so this coming Wednesday is the finale which wasn't even supposed to happen until Scandal happened. So Wednesday is going to be the finale when everything, when everybody finds out what's going on. And then the week after that, it is Vanderpump Rules a reunion. Listen, don't nobody talk to me. Don't anybody contact me. I am going to be incommunicado as I typically am. <laughs> um, on Wednesdays for the next maybe like month however long this is going to be and after the after the first from what i understand after the first installment of the reunion andy cohen's going to be doing a live sit down with ariana maddox to talk about this so i can't wait and in related news tom scandaval um, aka a worm with a mustache and the most extras are going to be playing jurgles which is a which is a club more of like a bar i guess that's in carnegie pa carnegie is just right outside of pittsburgh so for me it's probably mm, it's probably 45 minutes for me to get there i looked tickets are like i believe between 25 and 35 dollars like for vip 35 and in the comments, people were like, I'm going to, let's go. And we can wear a Team Ariana t-shirts and we can heckle them. Listen, if I if I were closer um, and tickets weren't that expensive and I didn't have a problem with my knee, I would go and heckle him. Because he's an asshole. But I'm not going to drive all that way and pay, I'm not going to drive all that way and pay that money to do that. I just, I just can't. Um, but for anybody who, who goes, please, please heckle him. Um, heckle him as if you were James Kennedy heckling him because if anybody has seen any of the videos of James Kennedy and his DJing sets when he heck when he um calls when he says Scandal's a liar, that's I love it. I love it. I never thought I would say I that I'm enjoying James Kennedy. I'm enjoying James Kennedy on Vanderpump Rules. Um and also, I know that I haven't done this in the past, but I'm going to give, I want to give a MVP award to the person who for the last couple weeks has, I've been like, wow, okay, I was a fan, but now I think I'm an even bigger fan. Um, and it's Taylor Swift. Listen, I started off being like, mm, Taylor 
Swift's okay. And then I was like, I don't know if I like Taylor Swift. Now I'm like, listen, she's a, she is a great songwriter. Whether you like her style of music or not, she is like a great songwriter. Um, but last week, I believe it was on the third night of her stop on the Eras tour in Nashville. Um, her concert was delayed for, I believe it was four hours because of rain and thunder and lightning. So four hours passed and you people probably thought we're not going to get a show. Wrong. They got a normal show. that was like three hours, 15 minutes, maybe played all of the songs. Didn't skimp on anything. Played until 2 a.m. And from what I understand, gladly paid the fees because they went past noise curfew. But then last night in Philadelphia, her her home her hometown because she's from Wymissing, Pennsylvania. Um, she number one every night she gives her hat to um, to somebody to a fan that they pick out. Typically, it's like a little kid. But last night it was um, for this guy Michael, who is the one who made up the bejeweled dance. You know, when you walk around, and then you go shimmer like that. She gave it to him, and she actually did dance up to him. And she held his hand and blew him a kiss. And I thought it was so sweet. But then, come to find out, during Bad Blood, she stopped and she, well, the song went on, and she said that, you know, this woman, what did she say? She said, she's not doing anything. Leave her alone. Stop. So she come to find out that um, there was a fan who was getting a little close to the barricade and was just jumping up and down and having fun. She wasn't doing anything rather than being like, hey, listen, can you not do that? Can you stop? Can you step back? He had to get aggressive and put his hands on her and act like an ass. And she saw it and she called him out. Apparently, according to the girl who was getting manhandled, he was escorted out and they were given free tickets to an upcoming show. So Taylor Swift was sticking up for a fan. Listen, whether you like her, whether you don't like her, that's something that should be applauded because number one, you're paying a lot of money to see these, to see these people and then they don't put in any effort. Or if you're like Morgan Wallen and you, you know, you call off your concert, five minutes before you're supposed to play. Um, I get that he, that he has a sore throat. He has now since canceled his tour because his doctor says you really shouldn't be singing. Okay, but five minutes beforehand? But then you get people who put in extra time, like Taylor Swift. She was singing 44 songs a night. And she was, was singing and dancing and, and putting on a show until two o'clock at times in the pouring rain. Or you look at somebody like Beyonce, who's, who kicked off her world tour over in Stockholm. She's playing close to three hours and she's playing 35 songs and she's giving everything. So my hat's off to Taylor Swift. Like I said, whether you like her or you don't like her, she is putting in the effort and she's sticking up for her fans. So good for you. I will always be a fan, so. And also read that when she goes to these, to these cities, she's making nice, sizable donations to the food bank in that city. So, like I said, I am a Swifty. So, everybody, I hope you all had a great week, a great day. Please let me know um, what one of your successes was this week um, and what you plan on doing next week. I didn't get to any intentions because... Would you say Dolly? Happy Mother's Day. And Dolly said Happy Mother's Day. She's in the other room enjoying our new floor. So <laughs> um, I am going to head off here because my brother's going to be coming over. But um, if nobody told you yet today, which I don't know why they wouldn't, I love you. You're love seen and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there in the world. Um, please especially spread acceptance um it's because just because somebody isn't just like you that doesn't mean they don't deserve to be accepted and loved so everybody have a great day and i love you guys and i will see you 
tomorrow. Bye guys.